Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. For today we have a new smartwatch from China made by Z-Blaze. This watch costs around $110 and it can be used by itself as a smartwatch and a phone or connected to your smartphone. The watch is running Android 5.1, has the MediaTek 6580M CPU, this is a quad-core CPU, we also have 1 gig of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. Out of that 16 gigs of internal storage we get about 13 free and the speeds that I got for the internal storage are quite good. This watch can take a SIM card and connect to 3G networks and we also have Wi-Fi connectivity and Bluetooth. The speeds that I got over the 3G network and over Wi-Fi are decent but of course not the best that I've seen. The watch comes in a good looking box, on the front we see the brand name and on the back we see some specifications. Inside the box we are gonna find the watch, we are also gonna find the user manual that's in English and it's got a whole bunch of pictures and instructions. Aside from that, we are gonna find a small screwdriver that will help you remove the screws on the back of the watch. And speaking about uh, those screws, this watch is definitely not waterproof from what I've seen um, when I opened it. So yeah, don't put this uh, watch in the water because it's definitely not gonna work afterwards. And getting back to the box, you're also gonna find the micro USB cable and the charger. The charger is very simple to use, it attaches on the back of the watch, but unfortunately you're not gonna be able to wear the watch whenever you're charging it. And since we are talking about charging, inside this watch we have a 350 milliamp battery. Unfortunately, the battery life is disappointing like most of these smartwatches from China. So you are barely gonna make it through an entire day on one battery charge. Of course, it depends how you actually use the watch, if you keep the Wi-Fi on, if you have the data connected at all times and so on. But I barely made it through an entire day on one battery charge. Now, the watch itself looks very appealing, so on the front we have a 1.4 inches Super AMOLED display that has great viewing angles and it gets bright enough so you can actually see it outside. Aside from that, the screen seems to be covered by some type of scratch resistant glass as well. The body of the watch is made out of metal, on the left hand side we have the speaker, however the speaker doesn't get that loud, and on the other side we have the microphone, we have the 2 megapixel camera and a button. As you'd expect, the pictures taken with that 2 megapixel camera, well, they aren't the best. And if you don't have enough light, yeah, the pictures don't turn out um, good at all. And of course, the pictures that you've just seen are actually taken with this watch. And lastly, the strap seems to be made out of this soft rubber that feels very nice to touch, but it seems to get dirty quite easily. Now, it's gonna be kind of difficult, if not impossible, to actually change the strap to something else, so keep that in mind. And now we are getting to the software. So this watch is running a full copy of Android 5.1, so just like a phone. And what I like the most about this watch is the selection of watch faces. So this watch has so many watch faces that I haven't seen as many for any other smartwatch in the past. And on top of having so many, you can still download a whole bunch more. I haven't actually downloaded um, all of them, but yeah, you definitely have a big selection of uh, watch faces to download. The watch also supports gestures, so when you turn it towards yourself, the screen will come on. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get to see the watch face that you have selected. You actually get to see a screensaver instead of your watch face. And if you wanna see that um, watch face that you have selected, you actually have to touch the screen once. And that is kind of inconvenient, at least in my opinion, because you don't really get to see the watch face that you want. So from the watch face that you've selected, that's basically your home screen, if you swipe left you can get into the notifications and basically see any notifications that you may have. If you swipe right you're gonna get into the watches menu. If you swipe up you can check out the weather, of course you'll only be able to check out the weather if you have um, data available on the watch and if you swipe down you can get into your quick toggles. There you can turn on or off the Wi-Fi or uh, pretty much anything that's available in there and you can also check out how many steps you've made that particular day. The watch's menu is fairly simple, so you have your contacts, you also have the phone, so you can make phone calls, you have uh, messaging, so you can send and receive text messages, yes, you can type um, on the watch, and if you install another keyboard, you can actually dictate um, to the watch instead of typing, you have your settings in there, at settings you have a whole bunch of options, uh, some of them are for the display, some of them to actually turn on or off the gestures, and uh, so on. We do have something called remote capture and that's basically whenever you have the watch connected to your phone. You have the browser, you have the calendar, the clock, the camera, so you can take pictures or record them with the camera that we have on the watch. You can see whatever pictures um, you have. If you have any music on the watch, you can access the music and so on. You also have the voice search um, in there and that's basically Google now and you can just ask the watch any information that you may need. So if you want to see the weather, you can just ask the watch um, for the weather. Any apps that you're going to install are basically going to show up on this list and um, they'll be just um, there so you can just access them from a click. 
because the screen is round and most apps aren't actually made for round screens you're not going to be able to see the entire app now there is a way around that if you hold that uh, button on the side of the watch pressed you can actually select the full view and that means that you're going to see a square in the middle of uh, the watch I guess that doesn't look that um, great, but at least you'll be able to see the entire app um, depending on what app you actually have um, on. On the Antutu benchmark, we get a score of about 20,000, and even though that's not a high score, that score is quite normal for that MediaTek 6580 CPU that we have inside this watch. You're going to be able to play some games on the watch, but you'll be limited by the size of the screen and, of course, the processing power. The GPS unit inside this watch also seems to work good, but you will only be able to connect to the satellites as long as you have a SIM card inside the watch. As soon as you remove the SIM card from the watch, you're not going to be able to connect to the satellites, no matter what you do. So keep that in mind, you will need a SIM card inside the watch to actually use the GPS unit inside it. We also have a heart rate monitor on the back of this watch. Unfortunately, the watch cannot measure your heart rate by itself. So every time you actually want to check the heart rate, you have to open the app and check it manually. So that is um, the downside to that heart rate monitor. So this watch can be used by itself. So if you have a SIM card inside, the watch can use the data from the SIM card. You can send text messages, you can receive text messages, you can check the weather, you can browse the internet, you can install games, you can basically do anything, make phone calls, anything that you'd normally do with your smartphone. You can even connect Bluetooth headphones and listen to music um, right from the watch. So just like any smartphone out there. You can also use this watch connected to your smartphone. You're going to have to install an app um, on your smartphone. The app is called WeWare, but the app is not very useful. So first of all, uh, you're going to get some notifications that the phone gets. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any email notifications, but I was able to see notifications from text messages, WhatsApp messages and so on. The unfortunate part whenever you have the watch connected to your smartphone is the fact that you cannot reply to those notifications. So if you get a text message on your phone or a WhatsApp message, you're not going to be able to reply to that message from the watch. So the functionality whenever you're using this connected to your smartphone, it's very, very limited. So this would be better um, to be used as a device on its own uh, instead of actually being connected to your smartphone. And it's time to conclude this video. So yes, this is a very good looking watch with one of the most beautiful screens that I've seen for any smartwatch is from China. Unfortunately, the battery life is not great and you'll have to recharge this twice throughout the day if you keep the screen on for extended periods of time. Another downside would be the limited functionality whenever you use this connected to your smartphone. So you're better off to use this um, on its own than connected to your smartphone. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.